the Nautilus GT kit by Aspire. Let's go. I want to say a massive thank you to EC Click for sending me this device for the purposes of a review. If you check down in the description, you'll find a direct link to my written review. Over here, there's more in depth pictures and a much more in depth written review. Go and check it out. If you've never checked out Easy Click before, make sure you check them out at easyclick.co.uk because they are awesome for written reviews and offers and all other sorts of stuff. Really good website, check it out. Straight with the size, it's 129.5 by 45 by 25 millimeters. The Nautilus GT tank is 54 by 24, and the Glint mod is 75 by 45 by 25 got that the entire kit weighs 100 grams or 145 if you've got a battery so let's take a closer look if you notice i've got the rose gold color the mod actually goes from 1 watt to 20 uh, 75 watts so it's a bit more than a mouth loading device but it's an awesome device down here, if you can see it, it's not that you can, it's got a USB-C charger connection, USB-C port, to charge through 2 amp, which is great. But if we look, it's actually got external batteries. That's 18650, goes in positive side up. And if you noticed, it's got a mega cool battery door. That battery door has to be fully open, if you look, it's got a ridge to let the battery out it's mega cool it's also got three air holes vent holes for your battery in there not quite sure if you're going to be needing it to be fair but there you go it's not much more to say really it's a standard device now this bit the rose gold on the top and bottom is zinc alloy this bit's aluminium and this bit's plastic the buttons are also plastic including this one and i think it's this one button that lets the entire mod the entire mod down because that feels a bit cheap and nasty. The rest feels quite nice to hold. The tank capacitor is three milliliters, and it's top fill. If you look here, there's two holes. Can you see here? There's two holes. Twist to together, and lift. Now this is a bit that really bums me off. You've got two quite big fill holes. You see it. You see it yet? Two fill holes, lovely. It's like I say, it's about a quarter turn, probably a little bit less. It's got rubber bungs here. Can you see it yet? I don't know what's going on with my camera, guys. I'm sorry. It's got two rubber bungs on this internal drip tip type thing. No other rubber bungs on that. Although you can see the locking mechanism there. Then inside, with no rubber bands apart from the o-ring around the edge now because of the o-rings it doesn't leak externally however because we're in a seal above the fill holes you do get about a milliliter liquid between the top cap and the fill holes and quite often when you take the top cap off that liquid then goes down and comes out of the air holes i'm doing it this time that's probably because my tank's pretty much empty That screen you're looking at is a 0.91 inch OLED screen. For your adjustable airflow, clicks into place, which is really nice. Makes it nice and really easy to use. It's also got the grip bands on it, which is nice. And the adjustable airflow goes from 2.5 millimeters in diameter to one millimeter, which is really nice. At uh, 2.5, fine, put it like this. The 2.5 you can get a decent mouth and drag on it. If we bang it all the way down to one, you get a really restrictive pull on it. Um, it does also go to zero airflow, so you can turn the airflow completely off, if that's your thing. I like that because you can generally pull, by doing a dry pull, you can pull the liquid full a bit better. But whatever, whatever. The drip tip. The drip tip is also removable, so there you go. Fully removable drip tip. 
it does come it don't come with but you can get a 4.2 i believe 4. Point something mil extension tube if you like bigger um whatever you think it's got the aspire aps chipset and it's got all your usual protections over time over charge um short circuit all that malarkey it's got it in here that's about it really i don't think there's much more to talk about it's a very simple device look at my opinions so what do i think like i said for more in-depth details about the coils and stuff bang on to easy click but my opinion is it's pretty darn good would i buy one Probably not. I think easy click I get it a 7 out of 10 for what I would buy one if I lost it. Probably not. Um, many reasons. One, mouth to lung really ain't my thing. Um, additionally to that, that leakage bit, I think it's a bit big for a mouth to lung device. Look, that's it's a pretty big thing. In fact, to show you size of it, it's big enough to be a dual battery mod almost. Uh, probably need a bit more space for it to be dual, but it's pretty huge. So who would buy this device? Well, if mouth and lungs your thing, you want more battery power, because I mean the coils only go up to 25 watt. So if you've got 25 watt on a 3000 milliamp hour battery, you're going to run for about 26 uh, hours if you take one two second puff every other minute, which is massively decent. It's a huge battery size for such low power. It does also really piss me off that you put a mouth to lung tank on that hasn't got any coils to go up 75 watts. But will, I mean, it really pisses me off when Voop and everyone else does it. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll give the mod 80 watts and put coils in up to 60 watts. Well, what, what the hell's the point in that? But this takes the mic even more. The highest coil this tank goes up to is 25 watts, but it kicks up 75. That's three times more power than the coils can take. So, so what's the point? But that's not pointless because it does give you the opportunity to discard that. Boom! And now upgrade to a cloud chasing, not really a cloud chasing, a sub-ohm tank. Um, a lot of sub-ohm kits, especially starter kits and tube kits, only go up to 80 watts anyway, like the Freemax Twister, for example, that only goes up to 80 kits. You're losing 5 watts, but does it really make a big difference on your first device? So it's a good transitional device. It would be an excellent all-in-one device if the tank offered a bit more variety, but we don't know if Aspire might add that in at a later date. It would be awesome to have a 50-watt nutless coil Aspire if you're watching and listening. So there you go, straight to the point, really easy, run-through, review on the Nautilus GT kit by Aspire. There was also one more thing, two more things really. The 1.6 ohm coil. 1.6 ohm coil. That recommends usage between 7 watts and 11 watts. On the written review I mentioned that I tried it at 5 watts, nothing. I tried it at 7 watts, bit of it, but nothing. I tried it at eight, 11 watts, bit of flavour coming through, but still not much to talk about, other than a decent amount of vapour. Banged it up to 13 watts, so it might be 15 watts. Not quite sure, but the flavour was phenomenal. Quite a big cloud, but it, it was really good. So, if you're uh, using the 1.6 ohm coil, try bumping it up a little bit more. Just remember that the coils might not last as long if you're using it above the recommended wattage. The other thing I wanted to mention is if you're going to be put off by the 510 connection plate, which is obviously a hell of a lot smaller than the um, tank, you should realize that the 510 connection plate is raised by like half a millimeter, not enough for you to actually see it, but enough for you to grab a caliber against it. And if you look there, there is an actual gap. So it's not gonna, I mean, I've took this on, on and off six or seven times. If we, and then we take it off. There's no actual uh, scratching or scuffing on there. 
can you see it? Can you see it? That's pretty decent. Um, so there you go, guys. It's awesome for somebody that's starting that might want to go up to Suborn eventually, especially if they don't mind. Uh, if they don't mind changing tanks, and if they don't mind a bigger kit, because I mean, you should look at the size of that. Shall we do a little bit of comparison? I have the dual battery ages here. So if you just put them, you know what I mean? It's, it's quite big. It's not as tall, it's not as wide. And it's not as thick either. Um, but you can see, I mean, it is quite a big a big kit. I mean, if we then put it inside the Vupo X, you know I mean, it's slightly thinner, slightly shorter. But a fair bit thicker. I don't know. It just, it just seems a bit big. And I know from my shop, I know a lot of people prefer smaller devices. That's why the Smock Nord's a great seller uh, for people that are just break into the market. But this does offer a lot more than a pod system. It offers a room to upgrade to sub in And it also has extendable batteries. Which, by the way, if you don't like external batteries, the reason I do like external batteries is one, because if you're going out, Put it this way, if you're going out on a camping trip for two days, you take two 18650 batteries with this beast, 3000 mAh each, make sure you put a spare one in the case, you're going to get 52 hours of 25 wattage out of this. That is decent. The other reason I like it is if it, you charge it here and this breaks, the mod's not screwed. You can buy, instead of buying a new mod for whatever price, you can just buy a battery charger which for a single bit of battery charger you're looking five ten pounds so you're sorted i just realized i'm rambling quite a lot so let's move on to the giveaway liam patterson liam patterson congrats liam you have won the Vupu x drag x pod kit um contact me on instagram or facebook Vet Mill UK in order to claim you'll have to pay postage as far as in terms of conditions um, if you want to win this which you should because it's a free device if you win it apart from postage which is not that much no matter where you live if you do want to win it you know what you have to do read the terms and conditions in the description because it'll say things like you have to pay for postage and then you have to subscribe and comment down below if you're already subscribed thank you if you're not already subscribed welcome to Harley's world this is all about vapes if you want to comment but you don't want to win just put in your uh, in your comment don't want to win um make sure you follow me on instagram and facebook i don't really act on facebook but message me on instagram like me on instagram uh, but more importantly that, subscribe ring the bell share the video Cheers for watching, guys. Uh, things are going mad at the minute. I mean, I'm developing things. I'm launching the website. Um, things are going crazy. People are contacting me left, right, centre. I've also got a collaboration series on the way. I'm working like 24 hours a day minus 24 hours to sleep. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. I love you all so very much. Stay cloudy!